Hydraulic torque wrenches are designed to tighten or loosen fasteners, which require large amounts of force to achieve the proper preload. In contrast to hydraulic tensioning devices, which directly stretch a bolt, these wrenches apply a turning force, or torque, to a nut or bolt head, which causes the bolt thread to advance. Some hydraulic torque wrenches use impact sockets, while low clearance wrenches use interchangeable systems. Systems may vary, so it is important to use the specific operating instructions for the wrench and pump that you are using. First, we will be demonstrating our highly innovative and popular square drive tool, the TTX. Our swivel features multi-position hose couplers which rotate 360 degrees to ensure no hose interference. We have the capability to also manufacture a swivel which turns 180 degrees along with 360 degrees. Our TTX line is comprised of various models which offer a broad torque range from 105 foot-pounds to 20,750 foot-pounds, which is accurate to plus or minus 3%. Our TTX is manufactured with 7075 grade aluminum alloy, which is extremely durable and lightweight. It consists of only three moving parts and features an innovative push-through square drive, which makes it extremely easy to switch from tightening or loosening any bolt. The TTX features a 360 degree adjustable rear reaction arm which has a push button to engage and disengage the arm. Square drive wrenches use a reaction arm that can be rotated to a secure position. Adjust the arm so that it is braced firmly against the structure. First, you need to ensure that your hydraulic hoses are correctly hooked up to your unit. The couplers must be fully screwed on for the unit to operate. Also, ensure that your hoses are correctly hooked up to your hydraulic pump. Now, place your unit on the nut. Once the unit is on the nut, confirm that your reaction arm has a solid point to react off of, which is free of the hoses. Inspect all components for damage before use. To begin, inspect the hoses and make sure that the fittings are clean and tight. Dirt and debris in the system may damage the pump, valves, or wrench. Loose fittings may leak or burst. If a leak occurs, shut off the pump and depressurize the system. Never grasp a leaking hose. The pressurized fluid may cause serious injury. Remain clear of your unit and hydraulic hoses to ensure safety. Now engage the pump to begin torquing. Ratchet the wrench with several cycles until it stalls at the preset pressure. Your nut is now tightened. We recommend operating the TTX line on hydraulic power packs, which offer up to 10,000 PSI. We will now demonstrate how to operate our high flow hydraulic pump. First, ensure there is adequate hydraulic fluid in the reservoir by checking the viewing windows. You should see hydraulic fluid in both viewing windows. If there is an inadequate amount, unscrew the knob labeled oil and insert the recommended hydraulic fluid until the reservoir is full. Make sure that the pump is off and that the system is depressurized. Then connect and tighten the hoses. The main switch, located next to the motor, controls all power to the system. It must be in the on position for operation. The pendant houses a three position rocker switch and a momentary push button. Pressing the run side of the rocker starts the pump and sends pressure to the wrench for tightening or loosening. The rocker must be held in this position since it is spring-loaded to the center. The center position releases pressure and retracts the wrench piston, 
causing the wrench head to ratchet back for the next torque cycle. The pump is running when the switch is in the center position. The stop position turns off the pump. The set button is used when adjusting pump pressure. Next, we must set your pump to the predetermined PSI to achieve your desired torque. You can refer to the torque chart for the necessary PSI. To set your pressure, turn the pump on and loosen the wing nut. Then, turn your pressure knob until you achieve your desired level. Once you've achieved your desired PSI level, secure the wing nut to prevent the PSI from changing. Now, run the pump several times to ensure the desired PSI is achieved. To loosen the nut, make a quick change from tightening to loosening with our innovative push-through square drive and place it back on the socket. Ensure your reaction arm has a solid point to react off of, which is free of the hoses. Now actuate your pump and begin ratcheting your nut. We will now demonstrate how to correctly operate our TTZ To guarantee line. you have sufficient power to loosen the nut, set your pump to 10,000 PSI. First, ensure your hydraulic hoses are secured to the unit and pump. Then, ensure that your hex link is secured via the pin. You're now ready to place the unit on the nut. The torque applied to the fastener depends on the pressure developed by the pump so pump pressure must be adjusted to provide the proper torque value. This pressure and torque table applies to several wrench models. In this demonstration, we will use model TWLC2. The bolt torque range is 600 to 650 foot-pounds. A pressure setting of 4,000 PSI will exert 630 foot-pounds of torque at the wrench. To adjust pressure, be sure the system is fully connected then turn on the pump switch. Press the run switch to start the pump and press and hold the set button. Turn the adjustment knob until the gauge shows the correct pressure. Once the unit is on the nut, ensure the reaction arm has a solid point to react of, free of the hoses. Place the wrench on the fastener. Be sure that it is fully seated and that the reaction pad seats firmly. Low clearance wrenches have a reaction pad designed to brace against an adjacent nut. Whenever possible, this pad should contact a flat, not a corner. With your pump set to the pressure, you would like to engage the pump and the unit will begin to ratchet. When the wrench reaches the end of a stroke, pump pressure will peak. Retract the wrench, then apply pressure for another stroke. Move the unit, flip it upside down, and ensure the reaction arm has a solid point to react off of. Then engage your pump. When operating your TTZ, ensure that your hands are free of the unit and hoses at all times.